Hey everyone, this is Just to Take here, right to repair guy, and welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, I will show you the latest method and the easiest way to bypass the remote device management lock, or you can say MDM lock on any MacBook that having the Apple Silicon chipset, like the latest M3 chipset, M2. M1 and the latest macOS version supported that is the macOS Sonoma and you can use the same method if you have the macbook pro models macbook air imax apple studio and it's a very simple and the easy method you only require one system that is on the mdm lock and you can easily bypass it with a single command so you will see the full practical video in that i have explained step by step process and easy way and if you have a older macbooks with the t2 chipset that is come with the intel one you can follow this guide it will help you to remove the mdm lock links in the description so without further delay let's start the process so now you can see that on the screen i got this macbook pro m1 chipset and it's on the remote device management mdm lock so before you go to the actual bypass process you need to complete restore your macbook and install the fresh macOS version copy on your macbook you can use the recovery mode and then you can go to the disk utility erase your ssd make the new partition and install the fresh os and i've already done the complete restore process to save the time so i will just continue further now next step number two you need to put your macbook into the recovery mode again so press the button combination that are displaying on the screen or you can take the help of the google there are lots of articles like how you can put the recovery mode on the m1 or m2 or m3 chipset macbooks so you can just refer those and after that you can see the recovery mode process Now once you see this screen, select the option tab. Now wait for the recovery mode to complete load up. Now next select your preferred language. Now next you will get on this screen so before you do the process you need to register your macbook serial in the server so for that it's very simple you just need to copy your serial number and send it to me on my telegram and after that I will register your serial and for the prices you can contact me there and then you can instantly use it and continue for the process. Now once everything is sorted and your device is registered in the server you can click on the safari option. Next go to the Google and search for just a tick. Now in the Google you will get my blogspot link. You can tap on that or you can just visit my blog manually also. Now from here on the top bar you will see the MacBook MDM Bypass M3, M2, M1. Just click on that. Now you will land on this page, scroll it down and in the end you will see a command. You just need to copy that, right click and click on copy. Now close the Safari browser. Now go to the utilities and open the terminal. Now here you need to paste that code you have copied from the website. Now you can see the code is here. Now press on enter. Now wait for it to get complete. And the code will only work if your device is registered in the server. If your serial is not registered, this code will not work. And it will say you to first register your device and then you can use it. So now you can see the process of the bypass is going on. So just wait for it. Now once everything is done, you will see the rebooting option on the screen and the command will end automatically. Now you need to reboot your device manually. So close the terminal, click on the top Apple option and click on the restart.
Now wait for your Mac to complete boot up. Now you can see you will directly land on the home screen and in some Macs you will get the lock screen mode and it will ask you to enter the login password. So it's very easy just type 1234 and you will get the access on the Macbook. So let's just wait and see. So now you can see you will get on the setup page. Now simply set up the MacBook and make sure that your MacBook has no iCloud. If any iCloud ID is linked, you can turn off the find my phone option and then only the MDM bypass will work. So now simply set up the device. So now you can see we are on our home screen of the macbook everything looks good let me just show you the about mac and it's working on the latest mac os sonoma version so you can check out everything looks good and we have successfully bypassed the remote device management lock or mdm lock on any macbook that having the latest m3 m2 or m1 chipset you can see out the setting everything is working and good you can use iCloud login and other i services and also the demo account will be created on the mac so you can just delete that and make your new account with a new login password and after that everything is set so that is how you can use this new method and easily bypass the mdm lock screen so that's all for today's session i hope you are enjoying and liking my content if yes just hit the like button on this video and if you are new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates like this i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out